Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here and friends back with another news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what have we got today? Did you know 500 people own 36% of the equity in Thai companies? Interesting statistics. The relationship of elephants and humans. Koreans held an online gambling bust in the Nikon Nayak nuclear plant in Thailand close to Bangkok. Uh, they don't want it there. So they've decided to protest. And down near the Krabby area, a restaurant encroaches on a creek ordered by authorities to pull it down or move it. And a special today, the world's fastest growing tourist destination. And guess what? Thailand's right up there. But first up, illegal software in Thailand, is it finished or not? So let's take a look at what we got today. Ah yes, travelling to Thailand and getting that elusive pirate software worth thousands of dollars for a couple of dollars or a couple of baht. The good old days are gone now. Illegal software in Thailand coming to an end apparently. BSA, the Software Alliance, is partnering with the Thai police and chief executives in a campaign to crack down on illegal software in the workplace by the end of 2019. So top executives have been asked to legalise their illegal software. The campaign will target 10,000 companies across Thailand believed to be using illegal software in their business. Many companies are using pirate software and are known to use pirate software and do not have the proper licenses from the software providers. BSA through different sources, with the help of the police, have identified nearly 10,000 companies in 10 provinces suspected of using illegal software. The Economic Crime Suppression Division wants to see businesses and leaders of these businesses to legalize their software. From now until the end of the year, it will continue to raid companies suspected of using illegal software that does not have the proper license. And most importantly, not complying with Thailand's copyright protection laws. The BSA is contacting thousands of corporate leaders in Thailand to offer guidance and advice on addressing their legal software use in the workplace. And some companies, fair enough, will not be aware of some of the illegal software on their computers. Some have thousands of computers in their company and the individual leader will be putting their software in there, which sometimes is illegal. I would say the main offender is the Microsoft Windows 10, which you can buy in Thailand quite readily, which is sending out your IP address and also that you have a pirate copy of Windows. Might be time you updated the crack on Windows 10. In case you assume you're clever enough to break out with your pirate Windows copy, well, I should inform you that you are wrong. Why does Microsoft let you do this? So you get comfortable with the software and the software you've installed may be perhaps paid for. Then you can pay Microsoft for Windows or Office when your software stops working. Moral to the story, don't use pirate software. This is a strange report. Did you know roughly 36% of Thailand's corporate equity is held by just 500 people? which highlights wealth inequality in the Kingdom of Thailand. Each of these 500 amassed some 3.1 billion baht, which is 102 million US dollars per year in company profits. Whoa. In contrast, average yearly household income in Thailand is around 10,000 US dollars. Thailand's private sector is dominated by tycoons running sprawling conglomerates. The gap between mega wealthy and the rest of Thailand's 69 million is among the many economical challenges for Thailand. It is believed that Thailand should promote competitiveness to reduce profits from monopolizing power. In other words, give the little guy a go and reduce that gap between the stinking rich and the poor. Elephants. Well, an elephant never forgets, and the latest scientific studies have proven elephants will seek revenge and cause havoc amongst the human race if they've been mistreated or feel, um, feel that they've been threatened, though they will, they will come at the people and a happy coexistence between elephants and humans um, may not be possible.
Unless, of course, the elephant is trained from a very young age and it has to coexist with its handler and the people around it. Possibly uh, see a wild elephant or two up here. Still have wild elephants in the in the jungle up here. This is where Thailand's long history of elephants has come into play with the handling and the training of elephants from a very young age. When they're babies in fact, they are trained with their mahouts or handlers in 20 basic um, techniques that, that are needed in the elephant's life to, to live with humans. Thailand's national flag was the elephant prior to 1917. And there's stamps featuring elephants, this one valued at $50 today. Once trained, the elephants can join in all sorts of functions such as royal ceremonies, reenactments of famous battles in Thai history. They celebrated each year on National Elephant Day on the 13th of March. And, and the Thai people revere elephants. They love elephants. Without elephant training at the elephant training schools and, and without the loving care and attention of the mahouts or elephant handlers that they provide, all we're left is wild elephants that, that will not be able to coexist with humans in any happy relationship. And as for the notion that an elephant holding a paintbrush with its trunk is um, harmful to the elephant, well that's just ridiculous. Johnny, so I am reporting tourist police armed with a search warrant issued by the Bangkok South Criminal Court. Search the condo, Soy 77. Four suspects were arrested. Seized were records from six South Korean based bank accounts, nine mobile phones, three laptops and five monitors. The tourist police received a tip off about a group of South Koreans that were running illegal gambling on a website with over 100,000 members. Police questioned the suspects and they confessed they had entered Thailand on a 90 day visas. After the visas expired they would leave and another team would arrive. Their boss was in South Korea. The suspects were tasked with overseeing the website and receiving money transfers from customers. The websites, which had been operating for about six months, had netted 900 million Thai baht each month. The four suspects were paid 100,000 baht per month each. So the four South Koreans were charged with illegally colluding in online gambling and handed over to Klong Tong police for further legal actions. Johnny out. Johnny Siam reporting. Nikon Nail nuclear reactor project condemned by local residents. They are opposing the construction of a 20 megawatt nuclear reactor. It has been said that the location is too close to the Nikon Nail River and that it is to be built on flat ground that is subject to flooding and the site did not comply with guidelines set out by the Atomic Energy Agency. Also, they pointed out the risk of corruption in the 16 billion baht project. Other plans to build a 10 megawatt reactor became tainted with irregularities and was then scrapped. If it goes ahead, the reactor's intent will be used for medical, agricultural and industrial research. Thank you. Johnny out. A restaurant in Nakong Sai Tharat has been exposed for illegally encroaching on a Ban Karong Creek and constructing a permanent foundations and infrastructure they've been ordered by the authorities to move out. The restaurant has allegedly created a cement platform in a creek and set up tables chairs at Bang Kuang which has become famous as the eco-attraction for tourists in the Nakong Sai Tharat province. 
west of Krabi on the Gulf of Thailand. The area also serves as a natural flood warning system, so in event of a flash flood, the locals sent emergency warnings to people in the town to prepare for approaching floodwaters. On Tuesday, the Lancashire District Governor and Rangers went to the scene to and questioned the owner of the restaurant. The restaurant owner was given an ultimatum to break up and remove the cement platform and move the restaurant out of the area within five days. This is Mark reporting for Talk Back Thailand. Johnny Soyam reporting. A tourist study has been done by the World Tourism Barometer, which concluded there'd be massive increase to tourism within the next six years to 2025 with a lot of destinations and two main ones in Thailand. Phuket is set to get approximately 85% increase in the next six years where Bangkok is set to swell to an extra 68%. So if we have a look at the top 10 travel places in Southeast Asia which are emerging as tourism hotspots more so than the New York, Paris and London. Donna Quitar, the expected arrivals by 2025 be 4,511,500, which would be a 104% increase. Some of the world's favourites, New York, Paris, London. Their numbers have grown, but not as much as the Asian destinations. Donna Quitar, 4,511,500 people are expected to arrive by 2025. 105% increase. Phuket, Thailand, 22,119,685% increase. Jakarta, Indonesia, 7,185,978% increase. Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, 10,201,575% increase. Beijing in China, 6,589,175% increase. Denpasar, Indonesia, 12,313,000 even, 71% increase. Seoul, South Korea, 13,229,700, 71% increase. Bangkok, Thailand, 39,887,700, 68% increase. And along comes India, also. Well, Calcutta, a 4,559,400, 67% increase. And Jaipur in India, 9,550,100, a 65% increase. So that's the top 10 uh, travel spots and some of the figures by the, um, the ones that think they know everything by 2025. Johnny here. Yes, yeah, great reporting there, Johnny. Thanks very much. Well, that's great news for Asia and especially Thailand. Let's just hope the ever-increasing Thai Bart does not affect Thailand's tourist industry in the future. 